everybody. Welcome back to Everyday Thrifty Living. I'm Cass and Odie's here and so sorry for not filming. No lack of videos this week. Sorry. Life uh, life got to us. Uh, Odie's been working close to 70 hours mm. and uh, my dad has entirely prepped his corner for I'm working. overstressed. And now I suffer from night terrors. She has night terrors now and I'm starting to have them too. And my dad has completely 100% finished his uh, corner to work from home soon so everything's just been completely stupid corona i don't even know it is it's been a whirlwind craziness so sorry for no videos it just it just happened i didn't mean that it's just you know it's just, it's just a, it's been it's a, a lot a lot a lot, a lot of, of stuff people's has lives have been turned yeah. upside down and so today, and even worse yet and as i say you know to <laughs> she everybody work, she's almost at been working for um, some 65 almost 65 hours a good almost 20 over 20 hours in overtime let's just pray everything yeah. sooner or later goes back to normal at least a little bit and yeah. our heart yes to everyone really and today we're finally going to do the august and september empties if that if that's what you consider normalcy that's fine that's basically i'm gonna if you don't know what an don't empty judge us guys this is what's normal in our family so and i'm sorry my throat for some reason or another i feel like i'm gonna so what an empties video is is basically i review the family garbage <laughs> all the products that me my mama but my mama bear odie and my dad have used uh this entire i would say month into from august and september and then after this uh, empties. I'm gonna transfer it into a bigger one. So when that gets filled up, maybe every two, three months is when I'm going to start. So as you can see, it is chock full of products. But I am going to talk about these products first. So if you remember a few Dollar Tree hauls a long, long time ago. A long, long time ago. Uh, so I'm filming on a new camera, so I'm going to ask Odie, it, how's the autofocusing doing? You're asking the wrong person. Let me just move my studio lights up a little bit. <laughs> it looks alright, but you'll be able to view it afterwards. How's that? Yeah. And then complain to me. Okay, so this is the then soy... Then the real Cassie will come out. This is the soy blend scented candle we got from the Dollar Tree. This is in coconut amber. I'm we, uh, we burned it. We burned it, as you can see. We burned it. Um, no smell. No scent. No, no scent. Another candle. This we got from also the Dollar Tree. This is the Rose Collection. This is the Violet Rose Collection, as you can see. We burned it once. No smell at all. So, two Dollar Tree candles. It smells. But when you burn them, there's absolutely no scent at all. So they're going in the garbage, and I probably need to get a garbage bag. Well, now comes. you don't. All right. Another I, mean, item I gotta get up. Another item from the Dollar Tree, a can opener. We got this from the can, from, we got this can opener from the Dollar Tree. Do you remember when we did that video for the Dollar Tree and I was going, oh my gosh, look guys, you can get this can opener for a dollar compared it to broke. the other places. It broke on the first day, so. It broke on the first day. Next so. time, just buy quality. So here we go. And my dad's like, it's still good. And he's spending like 20 minutes trying to open up a can of corn for chicken pot pie. And he's like, and then he gets it halfway open, like one of those like, Western movies where they get like kind of yeah, halfway the, open. the kind you know which kind the kind where 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 so you have to garbage. have to clean the food to make sure there's no metal in it that's the kind so yeah and then okay so I used up a makeup wipes these are from the brand Sassy and Chic these are 25 pre moistened wipes I use these for wiping off uh, makeup and for swatches and they were fine I buy them again uh, let's see here so many so many items so many items. Oh, I got this Bior charcoal uh, micellar water from the Dollar Tree. I tried it and it made my it left a film on my face. So I don't know how you use micellar water and quite honestly, I it's I think using you know makeup remover wipes or even baby wipes are probably better than this micellar water. I mean, I only used it once and I'm probably gonna give it to Otis and she gave it to one of her uh, one of her minions. She's got a couple That's of minions. All right. They're all being punished. Oh, up in the cotton rounds. Got this from the Target box. This was a pack of two. Uh, they were cotton rounds. I used them to. What did I use them for? Nail polish remover. Use them to remove uh, nail polish. It's boring, I know. 
but uh, okay. So this is from the Assure brand. This is the. I can start singing in the background. These are the. Lot, like this is, has a pack of eighty. I think yeah, eighty cotton rounds. Uh, I use the uh, cotton rounds mainly for nail polish remover and toner, and I've picked up a couple since then. So get that. Then okay, I got this from the tar from Target. This was on the clearance. This is the I got this from clearance. This is the Sally Hansen cuticle massage cream. What's the matter? Smells. It smells like like that fake apricot scent, mm -hmm. and it's not something I want near my hands. If I do this and I smell it, like so, I'm just gonna chuck it. It's not a good smell, and there's a lot of chemicals and a lot of stuff in there, and I'm trying to, well, not like I'm trying to like strengthen my nails. Right now, they're a little on the eh side. They're always on the eh side. Okay, this is funny. This is from the brand V05. This is a dry scalp moisturizing shampoo. And this was in our shamp in our shower for months. So when I touched it, it was empty. I think this has been empty for months. So this is something my dad would have used. Okay, now, let me ask you a question. Yeah, I know. Where does the funny part come in? The fact that it was in the shower for months. Oh, I thought it would be funny, haha. -ha. Funny, haha. -ha. It was in the shower for months, though. No? And uh, no one removed it. No one threw it out. Me. I didn't throw it out. Because oh, or... I'm sick and tired of throwing out the garbages. Okay, let's see. Oh, I used this uh, Crest 3D White uh, toothpaste. Um, I've stopped using. This was fine. It didn't whiten my teeth up or anything. I stopped using because I think it's. I think it. Um, Guys, you gotta be careful with all I that. I think it destroyed, uh, not destroyed, but, but I think it softened the enamel of my teeth. People think some of these things yeah. do not mm -mm. whiten not enamel the enamel. Safe. It actually removes a layer, the layers of the enamel. Uh, yeah, it has to be enamel safe. They do make some whitening stuff, but it has to be enamel safe in order for you to use it. If you're just taking the layers off your and weakening your teeth. Okay, then we got this. I wouldn't do that to my one tooth. She, 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 she had a lot of dental work done when I was younger, like a lot of dental work, like. Well, you bridges know. and crowns and but what else did you have? Bridges, crowns, root like canals, that. you name it. I yeah, had she's it. Had, she had a lot of gum surgery. She spent a lot of money on her teeth. Uh, what was it? Oh, Bottom uh, teeth, I think it was. Oh, yeah. The other thing, the uh, 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 the removal of my wisdom teeth. Yes, yeah, it was her bottom teeth. Okay, it a, guys, it was a bad accent she had when she was younger. Moving on. It's <laughs> actually a funny story, but you know. Anyways, what? Oh, I don't know. I never knew I had an accident. Moving on. Anyway, this is from the brand Soft Whisper. This is a pomegranate body wash. This was a foam. Um, this was fine. I mean, I liked it. It smelled nice. I mean, but uh, it just feels like a foam thing, and it had this weird thing. If you guys, you probably can't see it, but right here, it had to be in that spot, or else it wouldn't work. So it was kind of annoying because every time the shower would be like, it's not working, and I need to move it. You know, so we have that. It's a regional thing. Uh huh. Okay, so we have another spa fusion activated charcoal. What is this? Hand wash, liquid hand wash, hand soap, hand wash, hand soap. So this is the second one. This is pretty good. Is there any way you can get more? Yeah, they have more. Though. So we have that. We're probably gonna get more of these. This has been really nice. Okay, we still have a whole bunch in here. Got a whole okay. Let's get this cuticle out of the way. This is from the brand Massey Bell. I did a review on this cuticle. I didn't like it, so I decided to use the whole thing in a coffee scrub that failed badly. I gotta redo the whole thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make a nice sugar scrub with a ton of oils in it instead of just basically using a little bit of oil. Okay. <laughs> then okay, so here's the nail polish. It's our Dollar Tree haul. She got a. Uh, a nail polish, black nail polish that still has some stuff in it, probably. No, it does, but be careful. Yeah, so she used it up to um, fix her shoes, and um, the next day I think it cracked or something. It cracked, just like it will crack on your nails. Yeah. Duh. So we finished another uh, deodorant. This is from the brand Suave. This is the Tropical Paradise one. Right there, see? We finished that up a while ago. Um. Let's see, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? I don't know why I put this in here, there's a zest soap. <laughs> it was something I found, I just I was like, put it in the bin! Okay, I finished up this Head and Shoulders Green Apple 2-in-1. Head, head and Shoulders? Head and Shoulders, Head and Shoulders. You said Shoulders. Shoulders. Head and Shoulders 2-in-1. Boston. 
Uh, I like this shampoo. This one's actually really good. It it made my hair feel really nice. It made my hair feel really thick and nice. Um, problem with Head and Shoulders is that it is expensive. It's like four or five dollars a bottle. You consider that expensive? I do consider that expensive. I forgot you're the VO5 woman. Odie finished a palm olive. I go through those like, well, lately it's been takeout, but usually when I cook. Hey, I cooked today. I, I, spaghetti and meatballs. I only went into work for three hours only today. I, they, they actually made me leave because my eyes couldn't stay open. And I, I, I made spaghetti and meatballs and I cleaned the house up. What a miracle. So I got this. I, may, I used this fe uh, facial gel cleanser from Jean-Pierre Cosmetics. Ugh. I got this from Burlington a while back. As you can see, the, the thing is gone. Paid $1.99 clearance for it. It was nice. I, I, I'd buy it again if they ever have it there. And then this one was the worst of the worst. I got this from Target. This is the Unscented Gentle Facial Cleanser from the brand Smartly. This yeah, it thing... Yeah, focusing. It is? Now is when I notice it. <laughs> has it been focusing this entire time? No, it has. I, I'm saying now is when I first noticed that it's focusing. Yeah, so... I wasn't, oh! I wasn't paying attention. That's why, that's why I got, got rid of it. What'd it, you open it for? Because it, I wanted to show that it leaked, but it did leak actually a little bit. It leaks. So every time I would use it... You know, and they would have taken your word for it. And, and you not... Close it properly, it would just drip out everywhere. So there's only two, I think 39. Not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it. Finished up a Clinique eyeliner. See? Finished it up. Yeah. Finished it up. This is nice. Didn't irritate my eyes or anything. Oh, this is Odie's. Her Revlon. It's not. It's too. I don't dye my hair. My hair is naturally this color. So she did use this. Did you do that? Uh, I finished up the Azo Cranberry Urinary Tract Health twice over. This does not have the probiotic in it. I used this after I finished this one up, which has the probiotic in it because I've actually stopped using while well, still finishing up the cranberry. Because you have to understand one thing that the probiotics probiotics are for multi-purpose things. You get them for three, many different things that will help you regulate. The Azo, that with cranberry, only regulates the UTI. Yeah, it That's doesn't it. regulate much much else. Well, not the UTI, the urinary tract. Yeah, it just does that. Um, this was like, she paid at $18 for this. Yes. He had this on Amazon for like 12 This is 100 Yeah, 100 count. Really soft. Um, it was okay. Excuse me, I picked it up at a pharmacy. One but of those good neighbor pharmacies by my job. I, uh, and you were like, oh no, we don't have Azo. That was when we, but now, uh, I know we have more of these bottles somewhere. Uh, these are the Women's Daily Probiotic. Look at these from what? Turn it a little bit. No, yeah, it really. Okay. Uh, these are 30. Um, they're so powerful that Odie takes one like one every three days. I take one every day, so we're spending a buttload of money on these probiotics, but they work amazing. Yes, we are spending a buttload She's of spending money. a buttload, okay, not me. You. I'm glad to correct you on that. Okay, so I finished up another... Hey, bugs. <gasps> Baby kids! So I finished up a Sierra Bees. Got this from iHerb for $5. This is a body butter honey almond. Smells amazing. Great ingredients. I used it up on my legs. He's going nuts because of the reflection of the sun <laughs> hitting the thing. So he's going... The only reason why I finished it up on my legs is because I didn't... I. Realize it, but I didn't, it didn't sink in that when I bought this, it expires like in January or February. So I wanted it finished. I didn't want it to expire on me, you right. know. So I used it up. I would buy this again. I would definitely buy this one again. Because right now I'm using oils right now to try and just use up the oils that I have. Because I, my end goal with for my nails is to get that, um, that Caudalie. It's like a $15 um, hand and nail cuticle cream uh, but a little bit of that goes a long way so I'm that's my end goal okay and then we have a few more things oh I got this from the Dollar Tree this is in a recent haul this is from the brand soft lips this is a co tropical coconut lip balm this smells amazing this sucks as a lip balm because this doesn't have I think it doesn't have like shea butter or beeswax in it so I put this on five minutes later I have to reapply and reapply and keep reapplying and it dried me dried out my lips even more so I wouldn't recommend this I would recommend a good old-fashioned chapstick over this stuff 
We have a few more items left. A few more items. I finished a cuticle oil. This is from the brand C and D Solar Oil. This little bottle is 0.25 fluid ounces. This is almost nine dollars on Amazon, and it was, it was okay. There's four ingredients in here. I think it's sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, and then I think it's rice bran oil, and then fragrance. So it's four ingredients, and at first it was great, but then because I had the bigger bottle, and the bigger bottle, like the ends of my nails, like right here, like the skin right here, got really hard and hangnails started forming and stuff and I thought it was because it was January and then when I used this up again the same thing happened again and I think it's because the fragrance in here I must be allergic I must have had like a, a, a reaction to the uh, fragrance itself so this is not one that I would recommend in terms of cuticle I mean if it works for you if you use this and it works for you what are you doing I'm sorry I'm sorry she's playing with him with a little dot little red dot so I have that, and then I finished up the Burt's Bees. Mm, it still smells so good. This is the lemon one, the lemon butter. I mean, I used this, but I didn't see any difference. That's the weird thing. I used, I used up this C and D solar oil. I used this up, and I still have not seen like the, the sham, the sham. Wow, you know, difference that many people claim. I have a few more items left. Okay, this is from the brand Suave Skin Safe Suave Skin Solutions. This is the Coco Shea Nourishing uh, Lotion. You get this at Dollar Tree. Um, three fluid ounces is not bad for a body lotion. This smelled great at first, and then it became that nauseating smell. You know that nauseating smell? Which one is that one? The cocoa butter right here. Oh, yeah. At, at first, it smelled great, but then after a while, it just became a little on the ugh side, so I finished it up on my legs. This table I got from Target has been working out amazing. I know, you don't have to hand me anything. I don't have to hand anything, I just leave it right here and it's like perfect. Okay, so this is from the brand, wow, it really leaked everywhere. Uh, this is from the brand Does Seaweed. Everybody see the little hand back there? My baby. My little destructive force of nature, but I love him so. So this is from the brand Seaweed Bath Co. This is the Exfoliating Detox Scrub. I got this from iHerb for $3.99. I use this. You know, for really intelligent animals, they're really stupid sometimes, I gotta tell you. I use this for my hands. Scrub my hands every night. I do. I scrub my hands every night. I know you're probably not supposed to, but I do it anyway because it's easy to do it. And it was nice. Oh. This is from the brand Bior. This is the Rose Quartz and Charcoal cl uh, Cleanser. This is great for oily skin. I got this in the Walmart Beauty Box. This smells nice. I thought it would be great because I remember looking, for, looking at the, uh, the Blue Agave from Bior, which uh -huh. has, which is for combination skin, which is what I have, right. so I was interested in it, but right. I used this up, and the first time I used it, I had to douse my face in water because it was burning, mm -hmm. and then the second time I used it, same thing again, the tingling was bad and everything, and then I finished it up, the tingling got less and less, because there's menthol in this. So you put me anything with menthol on your face, especially if you have sensitive skin, which I don't really have sensitive skin, but well, I was like putting vapor rub on your face. Yeah, so I don't have sensitive skin, but I've always gotten products geared towards sens sensitive skin because Odie's always like, just get the sensitive stuff as a precaution because you never know. So she's a whiner. That's fine. I'm not a whiner. She's always bought me the sensitive skin stuff as a pre as a precaution. Then I have a couple of more. Uh, Face body face lotions for nighttime. This from the brand Belif. This is the what is this? The Aqua Bomb Aloe Vera. And I mean, yeah, I used it. There's the I think there might be even be a cat hair in here. Is that a cat hair or is that my eyelash? That's something in there. Uh, this was fun. I got this I think in the in a in the lore. Yeah, it had to have been lore. the lore, lore beauty box. It was fine. This is the Sika Pear Tiger Grass. Can you still have more stuff in there? Few, only two more items. Oh, three more wow. items to this. This is the Sika Pear. I finished this up like in. Like Nosferatu, you keep reaching into the bin and taking stuff out. Uh, finished this up in about, I will say about three, four days, five days. Got this in the Lord Beauty box. It was okay. These little samples, you can't tell if they work or not because they're tiny. 
And then I got this from the point system from Ipsy. This is from the brand Hey Honey. This is the Relax Propolis and Honey Soothing Moisturizer. It calms redness and upsets skin. Like I said, it was nice. It lasted about a week or so, maybe two weeks. But again, you can't really tell mm -hmm. with these little bitty samples. Those itty bitty bitty samples. Two more items left. Right. This is from the brand Pine Soul. This is the multi-surface cleaner. Already finished it. Pine Soul. Yeah, it's the multi-surface cleaner. And the last item is something that my dad you finished up. <laughs> so one of his most favorite colognes is the Cuba cologne. If you don't know what the Cuba cologne is, it smells like man. It comes in a tin like this. It's called Cuba Gold. You get this on Amazon for less than seven dollars. It's like six fifty, six sixty, six seventy. It's right around there. Usually give that to him for, for I Christmas. yeah for Christmas. Nothing but the best for her dad. Cause this is his favorite. He loves this stuff. So I usually get it for definitely for Christmas and either Father's Day or his birthday. He gets at least two to three a year. They have different types. They so. have different types, but the gold one is always his favorite. See, right there. So what makes this so special is the fact that it looks like a Cuban cigar. There it is. See that? It looks like a Cuban. Oh! Promotes really bad smell and cigar. Oh, and God, cigars. smell. It's, it's, he will like, tss, 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 like that. When we give it to him for Christmas, that's the first thing he does. He will open it up. Hi, Bugs. He will open up and he will actually spray it all over himself on Christmas Day. And we're all like, because, <gasps> ah, because he'll spray that all over his face and be like, no, don't do it. And then my aunt, who gets like four or five perfumes for Christmas also, is like, each perfume also. So it's like, a whole bunch of smells. So this is, how many ounces is this? It's an eau de toilette for men, a natural spray, 35 milliliters, 1.17 fluid ounces. And this bottle will last him, I would say, roughly a few months. Really? Maybe a month or two. I don't know. He's, he puts on a lot of stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's the way it looks. And he has one that he has not finished yet. He has another one that he's working. He's working like on like two or three, I think, plus the other ones. And the smell is I can't even describe it. It's gives you a headache, and I don't know why I keep smelling it. Uh, that's his cologne. What's his other? What's his other favorite one? The Jupe? No, his other favorite one is Avon Musk. Oh, Avon Musk. He loved the Avon they Musk, but they it. discontinued it. He was so sad. He was like, they discontinued it. <laughs> okay, that's it. That is my empties for the month of August and September. Um, I didn't even mention that we had a giveaway going on. Well, we've, you'll see everything up in the beginning of the video. Um, you should put an alarm clock at the end. <laughs> see if I've gone overboard. No, put an alarm clock at the end so you can wake up your uh, subscribers. Well, like, comment, subscribe. On and on and about on. your your creams and my junk. your father's colognes. One of these days, always going to put one of her perfumes in here. Um, like, comment, subscribe, check out our playlist. We always run a monthly giveaway. It's September still going on. Uh, once again, I truly apologize for the lack of videos the last past week. It just, life just happened. Uh, I'm sure they're, they're crying in a corner. <laughs> stay safe, stay true, and as always, remember the Alamo. And Why the Alamo again? Because the Alamo is uh, it's the spirit of Texas. The spirit of Massachusetts is the no, spirit it's, of America. It's the spirit of Texas. The spirit is the of Alamo, all the red, white, and blue. Which we should do that video one day. Maybe we'll always right. sound so tired. Now, okay. Now I'm going to stop it. When I stop it, guys, you're going to think there's an earthquake going on, but that's because the tripod's a little... Ugh. So bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye.